see what this one tastes like. Really green, I imagine. Oh! Every morning, Matt and I try to have this super strong vitamin C supplement. It's like a gel and you just dissolve it in water. It kind of looks goopy, but you just got to keep stirring it in. I listened to this amazing podcast all about how crazy vitamin C is. So definitely go check it out. I'm going to link it down below and then I'll link this one as well. This is a really high dose of vitamin C, very easy for the body to absorb. And we've been taking it every single day. It's definitely more expensive than like a regular vitamin C. It's a thousand milligrams, but apparently this type of vitamin C, it acts like 10,000 or something. I don't know. Listen to the podcast if you're interested in that stuff. I'm a believer on the vitamin C and we take it every single day. Bottoms up. Hi, honey, you got no pants on. You got no pants on. Okay, hey, Mama's gonna chunk this down and then I'll give you the, the boob juice. I wasn't planning on filming today, but I don't have any videos this week. So I thought, why not film a what I eat in a day video, share what we've been eating in the new house and uh, a little bit of our, what our routine has been looking like. Also helps you stay hydrated. Water, vitamin C, check. Okay, I'll give you some milky yeah, and then I'll make yeah, my herbal coffee. Yeah, yeah. Milk. Can I have a kiss? Mwah. Good morning. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. We'll yeah. go give the milk. Brush, brush, your hair. brush, brush daddy's brush. hair. Brush, brush. brush daddy's hair. Thank you. Wow, that mm. is so nice. Yay. That is so nice. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> All right, trying to figure out what to have for breakfast, but I did, I forgot that I got this green juice yesterday after yoga. I went to my first in-person yoga class since having Sage and it was amazing. And I'm definitely feeling a little like tight and sore today. It was a good like hour class. Um, but there was this little juicery place um, near. And I also got, there was like an oatmeal cookie smoothie that was really good. And I never buy smoothies at places. I always just make my own because I feel like they're just so sweet. This one is, it's called Drink Your Salad. <laughs> Cucumber, celery, romaine, spin. I'm pretty sure romaine is spelled wrong. Spinach, kale, parsley, dandelion, lime, and ginger. Let's see what this one tastes like. Really green, I imagine. Oh, mm, the lime. Usually I do lemon, but the lime has a good kick. Okay, I gotta get breakfast for Sage though. I'm just scrolling through the the baby health net cookbook. I think we're gonna make, I think I'm gonna make these green blender baby cakes from the Baby Health Nut Cookbook. They're super easy. I think I have all the ingredients. I don't have flax seed, but I'll just put some chia seed in there. I actually haven't tried that substitute, but I'm sure it'll be fine. And I have spinach. And honestly, I've been trying to get more spinach and greens into her food, because I feel like she is just getting pickier with what she wants to eat, so. And this one is made with oat flour which I think I have. Yes, oat flour, eggs, spinach. Ooh, I left them on a little too long. Oops, still getting used to this stove little golden the first batch is always a tester luckily i think i have two more left <laughs> it's okay i'll just do the other side a little less and i actually like to cook them with a lid so i got the other ones done <laughs> like i said a little golden i love how bright green they get story of my life oh it's okay hi oh that's the timer for your pancakes let's move this way oh i hope i didn't overcook these a little, a little, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, I'm just gonna put that real low. <sighs> Hi. Hi. There we go, eggs going, baby crying. <laughs> and I'm gonna do just a tiny drizzle. 
of honey on it. All right, boss. What do you think? But really fun. Yeah. Are they fun? <laughs> of course, avocado always. My breakfast, I got some eggs. This is the wild rice sliced bread I showed in my last grocery haul and some butter and jam. And then also Matt's doing a little work because hashtag entrepreneurship. <laughs> um, Matt just like, what's on there, salsa? Yep. I feel like you just ruined it, you know? I can't do salsa in the morning, but anyways, that's mine, his. Uh, Sage, you need a refill? Oh, okay, hang on, hang on, I'll get you more. As you can see, we still don't have our kitchen table. We did order it. It's gonna be arriving in a couple weeks. In the meantime, we're just using the counter, and honestly, it's a rare occasion when we're all able to eat at the same time. Ooh, the sun's coming in. If I can, I like to have breakfast done, or like our meals done at the same time, so we can actually all eat. I think you like those. Okay, we're gonna have to add those back into the menu. Mm -hmm. The only tip you need to know with toddlers, never leave the house without snacks. So we're gonna go for a walk. Matt is actually gonna stay here and do some computer work for a bit. So I'm gonna take the girls out for a walk and then I think we might go to my mom's later for a visit. But I'm gonna bring snacks, water, and we should be good to go. She just had breakfast, but you know what? Never leave the house without snacks. Don't forget that rule. You wanna go down? Okay, we're gonna go down. Ready? One, two, three. All right, Sage and I just had the best couch cuddle watching Shrek, um, but I'm gonna prep her lunch now and then she's gotta go to bed. I think we're gonna actually head to my mom's for dinner tonight and do like a little early barbecue dinner. So that should be pretty tasty. I'll show you guys what we're having. I have no idea what Matt and I are gonna have for lunch today. I'm either gonna order something or just like have a snack plate, I don't know. Oh, and I do wanna make some I might make some banana bread while Sage is sleeping because I got a lot of very, very ripe bananas. Look at this girl. She's so little. But yeah, for Sage, I'm gonna just do like a snack plate too. Lots of veggies, some hummus, and just kind of see what I have in the fridge because we gotta get some groceries. I always, why do I film these what I eat in a days when we have like zero groceries? Real life. to the hummus. I drained the carrots and just drizzled with olive oil and added garlic powder and black pepper. I just like to season them a little bit and then she can dip that in the hummus as well. 
or eat them by themselves. I try not to over stack her plate so it doesn't look like too intimidating. Um, so I'm gonna leave it at that and then I can just add more as she eats. Wow, look. Okay, there you go, there's your fork. You can dip in there. Small bites. Small bites. What a nice lunch snack plate. I also just took some leftover pasta sauce I made earlier in the week and I just popped it into one of these silicone containers. I swear by these, I have two of them. They're so great for just freezing leftovers or meal prepped food into these like perfect portioned out cubes. And then I just pop them out and put them into a larger like silicone bag so I can keep reusing these, but these are great. And that way you're not just freezing everything in a large batch, you can just freeze it and then just use as needed. I get so many questions about all like the food containers and equipment that I use for Sage, like her forks and knives or cups, her plates. I actually have a full Amazon shop where I have them all linked. I'll link that down below for you guys. Um, Cause I know it's really helpful just to have it all in one spot. Even just like this crinkle cutter that I use for her avocado is on there. And yeah, pre I'm usually updating it as I go. So um, these are, will be on it as well. I forgot I had these. I'm gonna heat up a little burrito for me. Oh, sorry, Matt. There's only one. I'm sure he can. Oh, you know what? He can have the leftover. I have sushi in the fridge that I got for lunch yesterday, so he can have that. Also, if you guys are looking for my Health Nut silicone baking mats, I still have some on the Health Nut shop. You guys can grab them there. I'll have a link down below. They're great. They're also dishwasher safe and you just get to reuse them. And like parchment paper or foil where you're having to throw it out. These are really great. Also great for cookies and baking because it makes it nonstick without having to add like extra oil or butter. So I'm just gonna pop him right on there into the oven. Sagey needs a refill. More? More? Sage, more? Yeah. More? Okay, I'll give you more. Yeah. And we can't forget about Miss Cashew. Oh, Sage is singing in the background. Okay, sit. Sit. Good girl. These are just like frozen sardines we get from the pet store. Wait. Okay. She's tired from the, from the doggy play date this morning. Get it, get it. Lovely, lovely. You gonna leave that for mommy to clean up? Yeah? Love that for me. Mm -hmm. Apparently it's a theme today with overcooking things. <laughs> My burrito is out of the oven. I'm actually just gonna add Sage's like leftovers. Some sliced avocado. I'll take some of this cucumber. A little hot sauce. So we've been here now for, I think, two weeks officially this weekend. I don't know, maybe just under two weeks. And I feel like when we first got here, we were like unpacking like crazy. We said one box a day, but we were definitely doing more. And then all of a sudden we got to this like plateau where now it's just <laughs> things are just hanging around. So yesterday, if you follow me on Instagram, I shared... My closet floor is finally cleared. And so yesterday's task was just to like put away all my clothes in the closet, hang them up, put them in the drawers. So I did that. And then today I haven't decided what I want to get done. Like Sage just went down for her nap. So I'm going to eat first. I do need to finish Sage's room, but she's napping in there. So that's like the hard thing with Sage's room. Every time I want to do it, she's napping in there. So I have to do it during the day. So, I mean, we're getting through stuff. It just feels like there's it still just looks like we just moved in and because we have i just feel like matt and i are the type of people that just want to be like moved in set up ready to go we did order our kitchen table like i said and we have a coffee table coming too i have no idea what's happening with this room yet so i'm not even thinking about that i just want to finish the rooms oh the office i want to finish like just putting things away in there because it still kind of looks messy you know just the reality of moving into a new place you're like in this limbo for a bit but besides that, we've been loving the new house. Like 
There's just so much more to do around here. More nature, we have the water, um, the huge backyard. Like it's been, it's been really, really nice. All the neighbors have been so welcoming. Like they'll just walk by and be like, welcome to the neighborhood. And it's just like the sweetest thing. I'm trying to figure out the new tripod situation in, in this house. We gotta head out in a couple minutes. Sage is just like still sleeping, but she'll probably wake up any minute. So I'm packing up some snacks for her. Also, this is what I'm wearing. Honestly, I feel like I'm just like vibing the mom life these days. And like, you don't realize until you're in it that you just, you're dressing like a mom without even intentionally doing it. So I like to rotate her snacks between like dry foods and fresh foods. Um, so sometimes I'll do, if we're at home, I'll do like strawberries and cucumbers cut up. Um, but since we're traveling right now to my mom's, I'm doing dry snacks. So I got one of her little snack grab cups. These are great. They technically are no spill, but like they do sometimes. She's figured out how to spill it. So these are a fun little snack. I've actually worked with them before, made good. And they're very school safe. They're like dairy free, gluten free, vegan, all the things. This is pizza flavored. They're both from Nature's Path. These are just called Heritage O's. That's what they look like. Put some of those in there. These are just straight up puffed camu. There's no sugar added. And I just do a mixture. All right, that should be good to bring. And then she can have like some fresh fruit and stuff at my mom's. Um, I didn't get around to making banana bread, so I might have to do that tomorrow. Hopefully these bananas <laughs> will make it. <laughs> Please, one more day, one more day. Don't turn to mush. Okay, I'm gonna fill up my water, fill up Sage's water, and then we gotta hit the road. It's already three o'clock, we gotta go, because if you have a kid, you know, you gotta be back by a certain time for the bedtime. Like, we can push it a little bit, but an overtired child is not a fun child, let me tell you. Also, I'm pretty hungry, and I don't have time to make a snack, so I'm totally gonna just take a spoonful of peanut butter and this is something, I'm not gonna lie, I do too many times I like than I'd like to admit. <laughs> mm. <laughs> now cash is gonna come. And you need a little protein snack, that's what you do. You can lick the spoon after. Hi, someone's up from their nap. Straight to mom. We're gonna go see Gigi and Vuvu -Vu and Tia Chloe and Tia Brandon. All right, so we're at my mom's and I'm gonna have a little snack before dinner. These are so good. They're the champion. What are these? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, anyways, these are like little ice cream bars. They're so good. Usually my mom just gets the milk chocolate, but this is almonds and milk chocolate. So I'm gonna enjoy one of these probably outside while Sage is occupied. Hey, what are you having? Do your tricks. It's like cheese, you didn't see the dog. Oh. Good girl. Thank you. You can see her. Is there a sage under there? Hi. Yeah. No. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, ruined it. Um, sorry. <laughs> mm. Wow, the almond one? Yeah, It's so good. Right, little quick grocery shop with my mom and now we're gonna head back meet up with the, the boys and uh not even boys the rest of the family because we've got the rest of the family yeah it's like we got sage and chloe then we're gonna do some burgers on the barbecue we had to get like buns and stuff milk uh we just got back from the grocery store i'm eating these clouds You want one? Mm. When I'm eating something she wants, she goes, ah, ah. They're white cheddar. Mm. <laughs> I'm also just trying to get comfortable with sharing my food with her and not just being like, you know, you can only have super healthy stuff. Like she needs to experience like real world food as well. A 
that's a good flavor. Truffle and sea salt. All right, so you just feast. We got some fruit salad, roasted peppers, grass-fed burgers, and these are just some crispy potatoes that Chloe made. Go for it. Oh, you need a bib. Hang on. We have some crispy potatoes, a roasted red pepper and tomato salad, asparagus, and a grass-fed beef burger with mustard, ketchup, mayo, pickle, bun. Sage is eating. Success. It'll <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thanks for watching. Bye, say bye. Bye. Say bye. Bye bye. Oh, who's? Chloe? Some short song and a sweatshirt. Yeah. Bye, guys. Ciao, Bella. Ciao, Bella. Bye. Serious.